I'm Mr. TapTap and welcome to Let's Play Wand Wars, review copies of games provided by the developer. I guess let's play the tutorial. It is such a relief to start a game and the controller just works. This, it, 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 it shouldn't be a relief, but it, it truly is. Why is Y advanced dialogue? Yes, I am. I see. So this is Wand Wars. It, um... It apparently has... I was a little afraid that this was multiplayer only. But uh, it has a single player component of some sort anyway. Hold A. Cast again. Hold the sphere to charge it. Oh! Neat. Oh, you can change the direction, direction entirely. Okay. I guess this is why it's why to advance dialogue. Practice pumpkins, defeat them all. Okay. This looks like a fun local multiplayer thing. I, uh... Okay, so we gotta use the ball to kill him. I don't... It's hard for me to get local multiplayer in general. Um, considerably harder to, uh, um, you know, get somebody over to do a let's play, so, uh... I'll be just doing the single player stuff, but uh, it should show off well enough. I just love the the pixel art. Pretty good on this. Uh, the general feel of movement, very good too. Maybe I'm just glad to be able to use a controller though. Aim it up. I see. Interesting. Time to perform some tricks. Chicken. Excellent. We can't obliterate. We call this a lesson. Decent short little tutorial there. Alright. I like this squishy effect on the text there. Let's take a look at our settings. Game volume, music volume, full screen. Aspect search. Pixel perfect, definitely. Controller vibration. Content mode unlocked. Oh! That's cool. You can just say unlock everything, please. I appreciate when games do that. Is it? Always... I'm not sure if the aspect ratio changed. Maybe that's only in game. But yeah, it's got a story mode. Apprentice born to a life of video games and hockey, Gregory unexpectedly scouted by a prominent sorcerer. Growing tired of endless chores and chicken coop cleaning, he decided to ditch his mentor and took off with the sorcerer's wand. <laughs> that's just regular. Yep. Get wrecked. <laughs> I guess we're fighting our mentor. I do. So the... Oh! Dead. Alright, I get how this works. Alright. Seems fun then. Dead. And the, I like how the ball gets bigger as, you know, <laughs> as you hit it a lot. So the game, you know, sort of pretends to stalemate by you, like, growing the ball to make it easier to hit people. Oh, frick. 
Nice short little multiplayer burst. I, I really like the idea of this. I'm glad it has a story mode too, so I can actually show it off instead of, you know. Chicken! Oh, that was so close! This is pretty intense. I definitely, I, I'm not entirely sure how this would work without a controller. I guess mouse aiming? I would definitely recommend a controller though. I mean, you basically got to do controllers if you can do multiplayer, local multiplayer. All right, round five. Match point. Did that sort of home in? Yes. Ooh. Oh, the music just got good. Don't leave yet. Pumpkin patch. Kitty! Meow. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, hey, and it is A to advance sex now. Meow. Hmm. It's a minor complaint, but it does slightly bug me that... It seems like the... Huh? Why do you have a shield? That seems rude. Holy crap! Calm down with that! Um, the ball itself um, does not appear to be... Ooh! Um, the ball is higher res. Like, it's full resolution. Uh, so I said to pixel perfect. I guess maybe 1080p. I mean, it makes sense to, transfer, to make your art... 1080p, so... Oh! It was a shield pickup. Okay, I really like this. I... Oop! I should have expected him to get that. Oop! Oh. Give me that! What is this? What do I do? <laughs> that is very satisfying. Oh, good music, too. This came out of nowhere for me. I did not hear about this until I checked my email. Um, I should have got to it earlier. Ultimate Magical Triumph. I like that the... <coughs> it lets you pick... <coughs> Sorry, I, I have a cold or something. Um, I like that it lets you pick between experience unlocking things and just unlocking everything. Uh, another game that did that... Um, what was it called? Oh man, Euphoria. Um, it just has an unlock all content button in the settings, and I believe Softbody is going to have that. It's really nice because with Euphoria, I actually got to the last level and quit, and then lost my save file. So I could just unlock that and just continue the literally the very last level and beat the game, and it was great. Okay, so they start with... Way to waste that power-up, bro. Um, so they start with power-ups. Oh, cool! <laughs> it's like lethal... It's, it's like the, um... It's like an entire game made out of the baseball thing at the, you know, when you fight Ganon and you hit him like a, like you have a baseball bat. You know what I mean. Okay, so the red one, it's the red one that does that. Faster too. This game just feels really good. Ah, like just in general, everything just is so smooth and the polish is really high. <laughs> like even the music's good. Like just. And I don't think the. I think the leaves and stuff are actually moving at proper pixel sizes. They're not 
you know, sub-pixel movement. I hate sub-pixel movement, to be quite honest. Ball, I think, is a bit smoother, but... <laughs> so the general game feel of this is really great. This is also something, something that would not play well at 30 frames per second. Just feels so good. Ooh, demon! Excellent. I'm getting away. I want to be the demon! Can I be demon? Well, I guess. Story mode. Ooh. I, think, I like that everyone has their own Animal Crossing sound effects. I, I actually really do like the whole fake. Oh, and you can skip the computer match or watch it. I really like when games let you do that. They thought of everything in this. This is great. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, the, the, the dialogue effects. Um, I actually really like when games get a little fancy with, you know, not everything needs voice acting, but I do really appreciate it when a game has a potion. Ah, oh, dead. I don't know what the potion did, but I died. What was I saying? Yeah, I like when games are a little fancy with their non-voice acted dialogue, like... Whether it's fake voices, or it's, um... Oop! Aw. Not doing so good. Um... Like, animated text. I love animated typography. Um, Burrito Galaxy is an upcoming game that seems to have really great stuff for its... Ooh. Well, that's to my advantage. I guess I should charge it as much as I can. There we go. Alright, that's only my first win. Still got three more. Terrible. <sighs> we can still win this. I might swear in this video. It, it's just a reaction. Um, I do like that the the, the arrow is actually home, which is very useful. I'm not gonna win this one. Okay, maybe I should just let them kill each other. Oh, Alright, let's rematch. I love how smooth everything is. I love the animation in the background, too. Mm. See, that smoothness is what it's all about. It's, like when I said game feel, it's not just about, like, the actual gameplay. Like, everything is so smooth. It just makes the general experience feel better. It does help that the gameplay is great, of course. But, um, I really want that. Oh, good. That one uses automatically because uh, there's no reason not to use it. I appreciate when games are smart like that. That is very satisfying. Ooh, that was so close. I did not deserve, aw. The AI, I guess is a little dumb. At In regards to power-ups anyway. It seems decent enough at protecting itself though. It is harmless when it's hit by that thing, even when it's not my color. It's a tutorial. Oh man, I wish I had people to play this with four player local. That's the one thing I'm jealous about big city people. Like, I. I own my own house, and it is not like tiny babby apartment. So, I don't really mind where I live, but it would be really nice to, uh. I gets really fast. <laughs> Get wrecked, kid! Oh, yes! Even against AI, that is very satisfying. I love when it gets so fast. 
But yeah, I really wish I could play this with four people. I... Ugh. Though I wish more people that, like, I can play with local multi would be into games like this. Like, people usually want to play Smash and stuff. I, I, I'm just not too big into Smash. Um, oh, I wanted a quick kill. But like stuff like this is quick enough to learn and stuff, and it would be a hell of a blast with four people. Ah! Oh. But uh, people want to play stuff they recognize, and I, I really wish people weren't like that. Because I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's really fun. Like, um, I played what was it? Uh, Sports Friends is another. It's a great game to introduce new people to, even if they haven't played stuff. But the problem is. They have to be willing to play just literally anything they haven't played before, because... Aw, oh, I totally wasted that. <laughs> Alright. This... just... he's just every 90s kid protagonist, and that's kind of great. Cloudstone. New level. <laughs> I like how he rides on a shovel, not a broom. And I'm on a hockey stick. What? I'm sorry, what? I guess this is the final boss? Hey! Oh, come on! That was aimed at you! Toast, old man. Oh, he, it's just him spawning with a car. <laughs> I knocked the ball from... And then I got froze. Uh, I guess this is a fitting final fight. Oh, you can still use... Okay, so you're not totally defenseless. You just can't move. And you can actually... Well, you can move, but you gotta use... You can only move when you swing the wand. Yes! It's really satisfying to just launch it on top of them like that. Because they can't do anything. Like, ah. Maybe they can just guard if they flat, like if they attack just right when you release it. I don't know. So far that hasn't happened though. I was about to say he wasted that, but I guess he didn't. The chicken mechanic is really fun, too. Oh dang, it's been 20 minutes already? I guess we get the gist. I don't want to stop playing, but I guess we get the gist. Round 7. <laughs> okay, being frozen and in ice. Very bad proposition. What is the, what does the lamp or not the lamp the potion do? I think that's the one thing I haven't seen yet that I haven't failed to unlock yet at least anyway. Unlocked item. All right. It's our first story mode down. Let's see if there's any special options for verses. The machine, the witch, the beast, the demon. Demon seems legit. Let's just see. Wait, CPU. Oh, you can do CPU setup. 
Okay, so I can't show you some verses. Okay. Oh man, that's creepy. <laughs> that's creepy. Where'd you be in the demon though? She looks pretty cool. Arcane Arena, Team Arena. Oh, there is. All right. Team Hex out. Match length. Merlin's rules, custom rules. What's customized rules? Oh, cool. You can choose which power ups to have or not have, I guess. Oh, these are startup. These are things you start with. Oh, haste potion. Everyone starts with haste potion. What? You can't start with haste potion? Oh! Oh, wait. Wait. Ah! Do I want to go back? What is this? Power up cinematics. Oh, you can disable power up cinematics! Oh. See, they thought of everything. Sure. Wait, did I make this? This is probably unfair, but I just want to test it out. Rounds Court, Pumpkin Patch, Sandstorm, Cloudstone. Yeah, that's the new one we unlocked, so yeah. Oh, man. I like this a lot more than Towerfall, I gotta say. Towerfall is good, but... Whoa! Fatal? Oh, they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is like a team death match with your hexes instead of the. Ah. Instead of the ball. I keep trying to play as the hockey stick dude, because that's what I was before. Yes! This is a little hard to keep track of with everyone at super speed. That's my own fault, though. And the hexes don't home in this mode, because that would be too cheap. So it's yet more good thought by them. What? I tried to press the thing! Hey. Ah. We're still winning somehow. Barely. Aw, oh, come on! I wanted to use the thing! Oh, it homes if you charge, I think. Oh, did we win? Nice! <laughs> Just against easy CPUs, I shouldn't be too happy, but... Uh... Alright, so this is one Wars. This is really great. Um, this is on Steam, link in the description, as always, of course.